So guys, on my way back from my Loch Rannoch solo adventure, um, I'm going to take you to a few sites that we have camped at um, on Loch Tummel. This is one of them. I brought Michelle here for our first camp in the summer. Look at these swans. Just gliding along. So if I remember rightly, we pitched our tent right here. How beautiful are these swans? So this is our first Loch Tummel site from Michelle and I. I'll bring you back once we get to another one. Hi folks. That's us at another site on Loch Tummel. It's the first site I brought um, Fort Valley Recovery Campers to see there's a couple of tires and swings being put up. Nice. These swans are following me. You think I should? That swing's sitting there looking as if it needs to be swung on. Good friend Davy Kerr, who was in recovery. We lost him last December. I've got fond memories of Davy here with the group. He had such a fantastic time, he enjoyed coming out with us. Such a shame to lose Davy, so we came back up here, myself and Michelle, and had a wee memory, a wee memorial service for Davy. We'll be sitting up there saying, look at you Andy, you total twat. So Davy, this one's for you. We are recovery, it's possible. Oh. Okay, onwards and upwards. I shall jump back into the car and take you to our next spot. Now, one night I decided, well, one day I decided to go camping with Michelle and by the time we got up here it was melting it down with rain and we decided to camp here it's 
certainly wasn't as beautiful as this. It was peeing down. We set the tent up here. Right close to the road. Um, I even had a gazebo up here. Which was mental just for the two of us, but hey ho. Um, ended up not getting any sleep. Michelle slept. I didn't. And um, I was just waiting, waiting for Michelle to, to wake up. She finally woke up about five in the morning and I says, come on, we need to go. Um, ended up driving home pretty fast and got my first speeding ticket that results in three points on my licence. But I ended up um, off work for a few days with a really bad chest infection. So... So this is site number three. Um, oh, and by the way, we're on the Force Road, so we're on the, the, the south shore of Loch Tummel. I'll bring you back when we get to the next one. So this is for Michelle and the guys from Fourth Valley Recovery Campers. Here we are at another one of our sites. It's pretty churned up because people tend, although there's there's pretty ample parking space up on the road, people tend to bring their cars and their bloody pickups and stuff over onto the the ground, and it makes a right bloody mess. But the a lot of fishermen use this this area. Loch Tummel seem like quite good for pike fishing, if you're into that sort of thing. I'm not a fisherman, but just look at these colours over here. Look at these colours. So aren't they just amazing? So this is the second last site I'm going to bring you to. I've got one more, but how beautiful is that? But as well as this being quite a nice site, and it's really hard to get actually because during the summer it is mobbed. And unfortunately, sometimes it gets mobbed by the, I'm not being judgmental by saying the wrong type of people, but I mean, I've seen people here having discos and everything like that, and the place is, is banging. I've been at sites up, further up the Force Road, like ones we've already visited today, and... Um, you can hear the music coming from here. It's an absolute joke. But there's something really special about this site. And there's a wee walk to it. So I'll bring you back when I get there. There we go. Now everybody knows I love a waterfall. This waterfall we visited when I first brought Fort Valley Recovery Campers up here in 2016. 
and there's loads of great photographs taken. We um, went under it. In fact, the, the thumbnail that I've got on my story on my YouTube channel is me in this very waterfall. So yeah, I had to bring you and show you this. There is a series of beautiful waterfalls up this hill. Um, I ain't climbing right the way up. There's a much bigger one. Two up from this. But pretty damn impressive I think right I need to make my way back down towards the car and we take you to the final site of this whistle -top stop tour of camping sites on Loch Tummel South Shore I'll bring you back It from a distance, which you can maybe make out up beyond that. There's another rear one, but up beyond that, there's a huge one, but I ain't going all the way up. Bring you back at the next site. So, guys, here we are at the last site that I'm going to take you to visit. And I've been here in summer, but never in autumn. And wow. Obviously somebody's favourite place in memory of Craig Gardner, sadly missed by all, 1975 to 2017. Shame. I'll take you down. It is a bit of a pain in the backside, humping camping gear up and down. But I tell you, when we get down it's worth it. Just look at these colours all around. So yeah, once again, fire pits, fire scars, absolutely neat. So Michelle and I have only been here once and totally itching to come back to this spot but it's a really sought after spot so nine times out of ten you'll come down here and there'll be people here but is that not just beautiful? See the snow in the hills in the distance I don't know if you can see that. Reflections on the water. This is where the tumble starts to narrow a bit, heading down towards the dam. That's an offshore road across there. 
but it's now 10 past 11 in the morning and this is the, the last site that we'll visit on this Loch Rannach Loch Tunnel trip I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it so your first time solo camping in a long, long time and yeah, it was amazing can't wait to get out there again I'm out again on the 24th to do a wild winter wild camp and bushcraft session with the guys from work. So look out for sort of footage of that. And we're going to Lotterston Waterfall in the Pentlands. So yeah. I'll just have a wee look. All around. I don't know what my tripod's doing right now, but... That's better. Let me see what we're doing now, eh? It's another view that you would never tire of, eh? So... Thanks everybody for joining me on this trip. Um, I know there's quite a lot of videos to get through. Um, you'll be sick of the sight of me, or the sound of me. But, it's as much for me as it is for you guys, and it's something to look back on, and reflect, and remember. So, yeah, I'll bring these back, um, well, it'll be another video right now, when we go to Flotterston in two weeks time, with the Mayfield Roads Go Wild, campers and hopefully Michelle and I will be getting out in December hopefully here Michelle it's absolutely dead here during the winter so we've got the place to ourselves so let's get back here in December so guys just also to remind you that um, recovery is real and there's life out there after an addiction. Trust me, I've been living it for the last 13 years. So keep strong. If you're going through an addiction and you're thinking about recovery, stay strong and push on because life is a hell of a lot better. On that note, guys, I better get headed back down to Sunny Bones. I believe it's sitting at minus four down there at the moment. Well, I was sitting at minus five, six during the night. Um, so, yeah. So, thanks for watching, guys. If you agree with my cause, we recovery from addiction, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and hopefully hopefully we can see more people into recovery scotland's had a record record amount of um drug and alcohol deaths last year so i know it's not going to make a huge bit of difference but if through outdoor therapy and um coming to places like these stops at least one person for dying then it's a result so to everybody that we've lost
God rest. And to everybody that's worth saving, keep at it. Because the cover is real. Thanks, guys.